In a world where the nutritional values of foods are taken for granted and tooth decay and obesity run rampant, this world needs a hero, and that hero is Vitaman. With the help of his sidekick Fiberboy, Vitaman fights to protect what few hold sacred, general health. So I said to her, it's a 2,000 calorie a day diet, not a 2,000 calorie a meal diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vitaman, you tell some crazy stories. Well, Fiber Boy, when you're around as long as I've been, you tend to know everything that's ever going to happen to you, ever. Oh, oh. Vitaman! <laughs> Oh, my head. What happened? Vitamin's been kidnapped. Are you okay? Who would do this? Why? Vitamin once told me something like that might happen. Look at the table next to you. There should be a folder. What's all this writing? Just read. He'd want you to. Maybe it'll give you an idea of what happened. December 12th, 1984. We are nearing completion of Project Daily, Daily Value. Value. It has been years of studying and analyzing data with my longtime colleague and good friend Dr. Thomas Trusovsky. What we are doing will revolutionize the way we live and eradicate world hunger. A liquid that not only contains all a person's daily vitamins, but also works as a person's meals for a day. January 24th, 1985. I have run tests on Project Daily Value, and the results are startling. There is no way this will work. It's too risky. I've decided to confront Thomas and put January 25th, 1985. I brought the data to Thomas's attention, but he refuses to listen. Greed has taken over my once good friend, leaving him a heartless shell. I'm afraid of what may happen. It ends here. There's more. Turn to the last page. It's only a week old. May 3rd, 2010. I told myself, myself I'd, I'd never, never repeat before. what happened that day, but I remember it well. I observed from a nearby window as my friend proceeded to drink the formula, but something was wrong. I rushed in to stop him, but it was too late. In my attempt, I was hit indirectly with a burst of vitamin B12 radiation. I would never be the same. I was now Vitaman. If Chersovsky has captured me, he will only have one place to take me, the abandoned scientific research facility on the southwest part of Sweet City. You aren't planning on going in on this alone, are you? Unless you're going to leave that desk you call home, then looks like it. Bye, boy. Away. I think I'll just... yeah. Yeah. Help! You thought I'd forget after all these years. Forget what you caused! <sighs> oh! Tom, you... You really let yourself go. Thomas Chersovsky does not exist anymore. You adopted the name Vitaman after the incident. So I chose my own name. Facts! What happened to you? You're tremendously large. Well, a 12,000 calorie diet a day will do that to you. But when I drank that liquid, not only did it give me enough food for an entire day, but for an entire lifetime. If it wasn't for you, I would still have my 33 inch waist and modest frame. You don't get it, Tom. It's a person's responsibility to eat right and take in the right amount of vitamins. You got greedy, Tom. You got downright gluttonous. We could have been billionaires. Now look what I've been forced to do. One third of the United States citizens are overweight, thanks to me. Airplane seats have been expanded. Doors are wider. And stocks on those drivable cart things at Walmart are through the roof. It's a big man's world, and you think too small. You're insane. What happened to the dream? We were gonna change the world! Maybe I am insane, but I'm still changing the world. And now I'm gonna change you. For you pride yourself on health, and now I'm going to take that away from you. Just like you took it from me. No! No! What has he done to you? I knew you'd rescue me. We gotta get out of here. He'll be back any second. But, but this is impossible. Wow, he must have really let himself go. Stop saying that. 
We gotta get out of here. Look at him. He's practically got us closed in. I hope you've done your stretches, cause I got an idea. Run! Our heroes ran, with the villain Fats hot on their heels. As they sprinted from their enemy, they threw healthy foods and drinks back at the hungry Fats. As time passed, days turned to nights, weeks turned to months, and months to years. As they grew exhausted and could run no further, the duo noticed a change in their once fatty foe. I've got you now. There's nowhere to run. Thomas, look at yourself. I told you my name is Fats. Wait, what? What happened to me? Exercise and a healthy diet. Boom. But, but what now? We'll get you the help you need. But in the meantime, you're going to jail. For the last time, Vitamin and Fiber Boy, out. Get it?